Instructional Analysis Part 2. In this presentation, I'll show an example of how I would begin to brainstorm and lay out an analysis of an intellectual skill. And in the previous presentation, we looked at a psychomotor skill. So here is the example we'll be going with. Customer service representatives will employ the service call strategy on a customer service phone call. So remember what the components of our analysis are going to be here. We've got the instructional goal. This is already here. We've got it. But we also want to do our goal analysis, our subordinate skill analysis, and our entry skills. So let's start looking at the instructional goal analysis. And remember, once again, this is not a perfect science. I'm just sort of making this up and brainstorming what I think would, would be good for this. Again, as you do this, it'll be iterative. It'll take several attempts, several drafts before you, before you feel like you're really getting to where you want to be. So let's go ahead here. So uh, I'm going to say for our instructional goal of the reps using the service call strategy, um, let's start out here and we'll say that the, they need to um, answer the call using the call opening. So, so that's our first step. Now once they've done that, they really need to do, I think what they should do is discover the needs. So discover the needs of the customer. That's really an important step. So uh, after they figure out what the needs of the customer are, the next step then is they have got to make a decision. So they need to discover whether or not they can fulfill the need of the customer. So I'm going to say, can you fulfill the need? That's, that's our, our yes or no decision here. So if no, then they probably need to transfer the call to somebody who can actually help the customer. But if they can, if it's a yes, then we can say, uh, answer their question. Okay. Now, once they answer the question, uh, a next step is to uh, go ahead and close the call. That's our final step. So this is my draft of our instructional goal analysis. Now, even now, as I look at this, it's not perfect because the can you fulfill the needs? If it's a no, maybe they would need to transfer the call, but they might need to also just tell them, hey, we don't have that information or, hey, I can't do that request for you. So that might not work. And, and sometimes answering the question is not the only thing you need to do. Maybe there's some other action that needs to be taken. So I can already tell that this isn't a perfect instructional goal analysis, but it's a start. So what would I do next? Well, I might just redo this. I might go ahead and adjust it and change it. I might show it to somebody else and say, okay, what am I missing here? Let's sort of fix this up. I really want to just give it several iterations until I feel like I'm getting close to what I need. But this is my start. Okay, so let's do a subordinate skills analysis for this instructional goal now. I'll just do a few of these. So let's talk about um, discovering the needs. What are some of the subordinate skills that are required for discovering a uh, customer's needs? Well, one thing I'm going to say here is asking quality questions so you understand what their needs are. The next thing that you could do then is also verify understanding. And you want to do that before you start to answer their questions so that you can make sure you're answering the right questions. So verify understanding. Let's see, what else could we look at here? Uh, answering the question. That might have a few different uh, subordinate skills. So one of them might be just accessing the information. Another might be use the, the correct script. Maybe there's some kind of a script that you use when you answer certain types of questions or something. And that's part of the call strategy that we talked about above. Okay, so you start to break it down into these different subordinate skills. A sub-subordinate skill, though, for these might be that, that you have to use the appropriate job aid. Okay, so that's our one of our subordinate skills here. So if you're going to use the correct script, you have to use the job aid. And maybe when you answer the call with your call opening, you're using the job aid to use the proper opening. And even when you're using you're closing the call, you might do the same thing. So this job aid might be a big part of doing all these steps. But remember, this is just my first draft. It's a first try. It's not perfect. And you can continue to revise and refine this. One of the major aspects of good instructional design is revising and improving, getting feedback and improving, reanalyzing yourself and saying, what else can I do here? So our last thing is entry skills. And let's just do one here. So asking quality questions. So uh, maybe they need to be able to determine 
what is a question? Now that's way down there on the entry skills, but hey, if you don't know what a question is, you can't really ask quality questions. So accessing information on the database over here on the right, well, an entry skill for that would be able to use a mouse and computer. So you can see how these entry skills, they're things we assume they already know, but things that they would need to be able to do to learn the subordinate skills. We'll teach them the subordinate skills in the training. We'll teach them the steps in the instructional goal analysis so that they can achieve the major goal. So this is how I would start out doing this instructional analysis. Once again, it's not perfect, but it gives you a start to start thinking about it, and then you can refine it and improve it before you create your final product. All right, this has been the instructional analysis part two video. I hope it's been helpful.